So good morning, my name is Steve Tamayo. I'm the cultural specialist for the NICE program. And so today we are making a video about um, decorating, painting, quilling, and beadwork. And so uh, one thing common for all indigenous people on Turtle Island is adornment. And so uh, it's very specific to tribe and region on how we design and incorporate the symbology that exists. And so uh, once again, you know, I'm a member of the Sichangu Lakota from Rosewood, South Dakota. And so a lot of our designs, our symbols are all geometrical, just like this. And so I drew this earlier. And so what it is, is actually a teepee, right? It's a teepee and the poles extending up, creating what we call an hourglass. And so one thing about the hourglass is the center. And so this encompasses who we are uh, as we should live our life in balance. And so once again, you know, um, I'm going to paint this. And so this is rawhide. Rawhide is um, skin that is partially tanned. And so how we obtain and make rawhide is when we butcher out our buffalo, elk, deer, we uh, remove the meat, the fat, the epidermis, and the membrane. And then after that, I actually soak the hide in a big canister and then I put a bunch of uh, ashes inside the canister because the ash actually has uh, an element called alkaline. Alkaline swells the hide, opens up the pores, and it releases the hair. And so I know when I stick my hand into that tub, that canister, um, if I can pull out a bunch of hair, I know that it's time to uh, pull that hide out. And so, once again, um, once I pull that hide out, I scrape off the rest of that hair, and that is how you make raw hide. And so what I do is, as soon as that hair is slipping, I'll pull that uh, hide back out of the canister, put it back on my stretcher, stretch it all out, scrape all the remaining hair off, and then it comes out like this. And so this is raw hide, it's hard skin. And so we would use raw hide for all of our rawhide containers for our drums, our knife sheaths, our, our shields, our quivers, you name it. So we had uh, many different uh, purposes for this rawhide skin. And so what I wanted to show you today was how we would make paint. And so a long time ago, we would harvest berries and plants and roots and rocks and all kinds of stuff and actually pulverize. We would make it into like a fine powder and make our own natural paint pigments, just like this. And so this is a rock that we actually harvested and you can see the color that is obtained from the different rocks. And so you can find rocks anywhere, right? Just walk around. Um, if you can crumble them up in your hand, those, those are perfect. So you wanna crumble them up and then you wanna get it like a motor pestle and then and just keep grinding it up and putting it like in a, a flour um, sieve. And so uh, once that, you can uh, strain all the rocks and get everything else out of it. And so what I did was um, when I scrape out my my hides, I actually save the epidermis and the membrane. I throw in some extra skin and hooves and hair and all kinds of stuff and what I'm actually doing is making natural hide glue and this is hide glue. Once I cook up this hide glue, I pour it out into these little pans and then I pulverize it and then today we have coffee grinders and so I put this hide glue into the coffee grinders and I make it look like this and so it comes out somewhat granular, kind of looks like sand. And so earlier, about 10 minutes ago, I uh, got some water and I put a bunch of this hide glue in there and I stirred it up. And so what I'm doing is I'm breaking this down. I'm dissolving this granular um, shape, form, and dissolving it in the water and with uh, the heat it actually helps break it down and, and it just liquefies it. And so um, this is a byproduct. So what I need for this hide glue is I mix my powder paints into the hide glue, which will adhere, which will bond onto this raw hide. And so that's how I get this paint. And so next thing I would do is paint my designs. And so what I'm doing is I'm painting my doors.
and since the hide glue is mixed in there I just let this dry and because of that glue it will bond this uh, powder paint in onto this hide and so once I paint this whole thing up I actually create what they call a sizing sizing is um, collecting the the beaver tails and so the beaver has that real long flat tail and so what I do is is I heat that up and the natural oils that are extracted from that tail actually come up to the surface it's kind of like a, a fat when you make soup you, you see that that fat makes its way up to the top I do the same thing with the the beaver tail and so I want to remove that and that's called sizing it's like a natural polyurethane and so I'll dip my paint into that and then spread it onto my rawhide and polyurethane is, is a natural is, is a coating and so utilizing that beaver tail will be my natural sizing which is a coating and I'll cover this whole rawhide piece and that's how we paint and adorn our rawhide thank you